Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. My name's Angela and I'm the Crazy Poppy Lady and I'd like to wish you all a happy new year. I'd like to put a little positive spin on this year's celebrations. Now I know not all of us, especially the UK as most of the country is back in serious lockdown. I myself, have, my area is in a T4 which means there is no knocking on doors. There's no popping into your neighbours, not even really meant to go and see the people that are in your bubble, which is a bit pants because I'd arranged with um, Liam's best mate, the gorgeous Husky, his owner and the kids, I'd invite them round for New Year's Eve thinking we'd be safe and then things got changed and we went from a tier two to a tier four, which meant we couldn't mix. So because of that, me and the owner have now decided that we are going to be celebrating a different new year this year. Hopefully, we will be able to celebrate the Chinese New Year, which this year falls on February the 12th in the UK. Now, there's also a Hindi New Year on the 14th and 15th of April. So that should give us enough time for everything to sort itself out. All fingers crossed and everything else crossed. Um, but if it doesn't, we can still celebrate the Islamic New Year on August the 9th or the Jewish New Year on the 6th of September or the Co Coptic calendar I'm just going to write that down here um, their New Year is on September the 11th and there is also the Wiccan New Year which is with help from one of my friends it is on the 31st of October so we've got a load of new years that we can celebrate and I'm sure there is a load more that I have missed for different cultures calendars and everything else so if you know of another new year stick it in the comment section below and we will just celebrate them throughout the year and get a bit tipsy and get a bit merry and fingers crossed be able to hug our family and friends so I'm really really hoping that I can get my New Year's Eve celebration in before the pagan celebration in October as a that's the best celebration out there isn't it well it's personally for me I absolutely love the pagan celebration and I also love the fact that we've um, we Halloween it up right now for video catch-up um, there wasn't any I'm really sorry, I was really lapsed, but I've spent time with um, the family this week. I decided I needed a week off of YouTube to recharge my batteries a little bit and spend some time with them because most of my time I spend in this room recording or downstairs making, recording, putting together and things like that. So it's perfectly fine to do that during the day while one is at school and the other is at work, but weekends I like to try and keep to just us and I also like to try and keep the evenings during the week to just us so that's why there's been no recordings this week because it is solely Christmas week and New Year's week and it was nice to have family time but what I have got is some gorgeous video footage of a Liam that I managed to scam off of my daughter's phone right so on the 28th of December in my little shire in my little bit of uh, the UK we woke up to snow now it hadn't been snowing at two o'clock in the morning when I took Liam for his round the block because I fell asleep on the sofa it was a bit cold um, it had been raining all day that day and it had just dried up before I went to bed so of course I've woken up in the morning to find a sheet of snow okay not that thick but for us it's the first time we've had snow here for about three or four years no, tell it, that's a fib. He's, the very first year we got Liam, we had snow. Um, I'll see if I can find those videos as well because they are so cute. Right, so the last time we had snow in this shire was um, two years ago. And it was just after we'd picked up Liam from um, the animal rescue. Um, it's local to us. And we'd had him a couple of months, so he was still very, very puppy. I will see if I can find you those videos first and I'll put them up because they are just so cute.
are you doing to my snowman? Oh no, my poor snowman. Oh, look at you, all posing. Oh, oh. careful. Are you beating up my snowman? Liam, have you been beating up my snowman? Is that his head? No treats in it, mate. I'm not that stupid. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can we leave any for later? Liam, what have you done to my snowman? Liam, have you had enough now? Yeah, time to go in. Go on, then, quick, quick. There you go. But um, getting back <laughs> to this week, we had the snow turn up on the morning of the 28th. I was up nice and early for a change for me. I was up at about half past six and there was already a fresh coating of snow on the floor. And so I'm holding out and I'm holding out because I didn't really want to let Liam out. Although he wasn't actually awake, he was asleep on the bed and he refused to get up. I think he must have known. But... Um, he came downstairs with my husband and daughter at about half past eight and decided, right, I need to go out. I need to go to the loo, which is normal for him. So I've got my tablet ready because I'd already seen it out the kitchen window and it's a window he can't see out of. So I know that he didn't know. He didn't have a Scooby clue. So I set the camera up. I opened the curtains and his little shock face of what on earth has happened here and it took him a few minutes to cotton on and to remember back to that first Christmas we had him and um, all of a sudden his little ears picked up this big fat smile appeared he just looked at us with the knowing look of oh, fun and we've opened the door and gone go for it and he's pegged it out well gingerly to start with walked out because I think I think he slid, slid over on the decking at one point, so he's still a bit iffy of the decking, so he doesn't run if there's a new thing on the decking. And of course, snow is a new thing. So he's gone out, he's jumped onto the grass, and then he started zooming. And so here's a video of uh, Liam this year. Now we also um, took our Liam for a little walk. We just went over to the green that's near the house because it's secure and um, it was nice fresh snow. Nobody had touched it and we just wanted him to have a bit more of an area to run around in that we knew was safe because 
the further away from the house we went the more chance the salt trucks had been around and put salt down so that the roads were passable whereas up until getting to there um get into that area it, nowhere had been salted nowhere nobody had um attempted to take their cars out so there was no de-icing involved so we knew that if he when he was walking around or if he stopped and licked his paws he wouldn't be ingesting salt or anything else that's horrid so um we took him there and here's a video of his reaction hey. Liam. Liam. Ready? Go. Okay, that's enough. Liam, what are you doing? Oh. Hold my glove. Liam, no! Yeah, good luck finding that. <laughs> Oi, Spud, bring that glove back. <laughs> bring it back. It's all right, keeps him occupied. <laughs> He's having a lot of fun. Liam, now. We wasn't out for a great deal of time just solely because we were getting nippy and he got bored pretty quick especially after that snowman was made and he devoured it or should I say trashed it looking for a carrot that didn't exist. Um, I know this because every time he came across a snowman on our walks further, in on the, uh, further along in the day he would hunt for the carrot, steal the carrot and try and run off with it. Daft donut was on an extension lead, he couldn't get very far, which meant I got the frozen carrot back and uh, the snowman got his nose. Uh, oh, he does it all the time. He loves ca frozen carrots Oh, and frozen potatoes. Because some people around here don't use carrots for the nose and they will stick a potato there instead. Cool, I tell you what. You guys know how to pick my mood up at the best possible moments, right? So for the last three days, I've been writing out patterns, which wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for my raving dyslexicness. The things bounce here, there and everywhere. Words are in the wrong order, spelt back to front, upside down and all the rest of it. But I'm getting there. I really am getting there. But today I have been pulling my hair out. It's, it's been driving me insane today. The dyslexia has really taken on a mind of its own today. So, as I'm so about to lose it again and go and uh, attack the box of chocolates that we got for Christmas, I get a gorgeous message pop up from Julie Hannes Hannaford. Now, Julie is uh, making one of my blankets at the moment and she was determined to get it done for New Year's Eve and she's managed to do it today so today is the 30th hold on a second i don't even know what day we're on what date we're on and it is the day before new year's eve a way to go you've done absolutely amazing julie right now when julie said she was making this for me she'd actually sent me um a, a message in messenger because we know each other off of the channel and um, I'd said to her, well, do me a favour, Julie, before you send that picture to me, um, can you send me a warning message saying, I'm going to send the picture next, don't look yet. So that meant that this reaction is my completely and utterly true reaction because I haven't seen the image yet. Right, I am now going to just pause for a second, send her the message saying, go for it, send it over. And before I open it on my computer in front of me, um, I will start, start the camera up again. Eek! Oh, she's an evil toe rag. I'm going to have to do some typing. Hold up. 
Right, because she said, I fear I have built this up far too much, laugh out loud, but here goes. She's got two pictures for us. Yay! That's my response. Oh, am I ready? Yep. I think she's being evil to me and evil to you guys. This bit might get cut out. She's so cruel. <laughs> She is being super cheeky, my response. Yes, you are. With giggly face. Come on, girl. We're all excited. Oh, whoa. Whoa, she's got two on the go. She has managed to do the giant, uh, the unicorn blanket and the penguin. Now, did she do them both at the same time? I think the penguin, you guys, have, we've already seen. I'm gonna have to check back in me whips and bits, aren't I? Oh, her penguin is so cute. She's done it in blue. And so he's got two tone hat in the blues with the blue scarf and a blue and white border. So pretty much looks the same as my guy there, but a lot, lot neater. Oh, he's so cute. Right, I'm going to jump off and see what she thought of the pattern and then I will download the pictures and I will show them to you along with what she thinks. Right, okay, so she's just popped in her reaction. Now, okay, so what's she gone? She says it's friggin' huge. I love the fact she's changed the word for me so that she knows I won't say the naughty one. It's friggin' huge. I did it in chunky, because it's the penguin. She did it in chunky. I have tears. The girls don't want, a u don't want unicorn blankets now. All they want is Percy. That's what she's named her penguin, is Percy. All she wants is Percy. I've got five granddaughters and it's all your fault. Smiley faces and laughing. Oh dear, poor Toad. How many, and the thing is that the Percy has been done in chunky, so he is a massive, as you can see by the photograph, um, comparing it to the uh, unicorn that was done in a DK weight. It's amazing what just changing a yarn and a hook will do to the size of your project, would not it? I wonder how you American girls managed to get your unicorn so flipping huge. Oh no. Yeah, so to be honest, I think poor, like Percy is absolutely gorgeous and poor, poor Julie. She's going to have to make him another five times. Now I wonder, will she be changing the hat and the scarf for each different child? So there's no arguments then over which kid has which blanket. Only time will tell. Right, so the next item I'd like to show you is not only a photograph, but fingers crossed it all works. There's also a video that um, Susan has put up on our Facebook page. Now she is the very first person that I know of to have completed, which is hashtag five, a crochet pillow, sp pillow spider. Um, now Susan has actually made this using Burnet Blanket Brights yarn. Now that stuff is super chunky and i will put all the details along the side of her picture for what she said how much she's you like what she's used what hook size and things like that all of it. a little message will go to the side of that so have a look at this it is so cute Sorry gang, I couldn't get the video to come off of Facebook to then upload and I don't want to link to her f own private Facebook page, I'm not doing it. <laughs> so if you want to have a nose at the video, it shows the front and the back of, of her cushion which looks absolutely amazing. Um, you can view that on the Facebook page 
a uh, link will be in the description box down below now honey i think that your cushion is amazing and i'm sitting here thinking i know how many rounds are in that uh, going round and round and round and oh my gosh how massive would the unicorn be if you followed the pattern for the unicorn to the, the same with the same yarn that you've used for spidey that unicorn pillow would end up probably becoming a floor pillow oh too many ideas but i'm not going there i've got my unicorn <laughs> i'll stick to the one i've got but if anyone wants a challenge there it is right talking of challenges um our next corner to corner tutorial will be coming with us with you soon um i'm planning to carry on with it sometime today go down there madam um now i am only i haven't actually started recording and the main chunk of it yet which is all the color changes i've just done rows one till whatever which is white um so i need to get on and get that recorded um fingers crossed it will be with you sometime this month i'm not going to put a time pressure on it because then i get stressed then i make mistakes and i have to undo and redo so this time round you will see it it will get shown in the whips and bits and it will be up here once this lot is removed um and then it will be released the following week all right so keep your eyes peeled on whips and bits because this time round the pattern is um and it is a mousse now as some of you will know that was um a competition that i was running over on my facebook page for, for the facebook members to choose the next pattern that was made or should i say the first pattern that is made for 2021 first at the time i've said that actually within the year that is anyway now Deanne actually won that one and um, of course she chose the mousse so I've made up a cute little mousse pattern Deanne is also a getting the a written pattern for the mousse as well so hopefully she will work alongside me or maybe a little bit quicker than you guys will and I'll be able to show you her work when she's finished it around hopefully the same time as me but I haven't asked her yet Deanne are you going to help are you going to join in you're going to try and beat me you're going to cheer me along <laughs> anyway um as i said so that's a mousse and it's a cute little mousse um and so i'm hoping that some of you will like it and you will join in with us now if you want to jump ahead of the rest of us and start on the mousse that is going to be hashtag 14 and the pdf is available for that one now now on top of that I've also been working on some other patterns um, that will some will make it to the channel some won't because if it's more than say a hundred ish rows or of um, if it is a hundred or more rows in the pattern and I'm going to be less likely to make it right so next up is completed items I've done that much of a sleeve and that's it um a sleeve for the um jumper not jumper cardi that i was showing you all, all last week i haven't actually really touched a crochet hook over the last week just solely because i've been tapping away on the computer trying to get the patterns ready for you so here's a list of the ones so far that i've done right so um what i'm going to do is just run through all the hashtags what the videos are and whether there's a pattern written or not written right so first up is hashtag zero one how to make a poppy brooch now the details for that poppy uh, the written pattern is on the video now the pattern itself was not mine it was from a lovely lady over in Australia so the link to her um, written pattern and all the details are on that video okay so then hashtag number two was quick and simple washcloth look i put that one up as a joke pattern because in the uk at that point in time you couldn't buy toilet roll anywhere so it is just a simple um single crochet backwards and forwards and nothing special nothing amazing and something you could knock up really really quick without actually having to think about it too much um so there is no written pattern for that one because I wouldn't want to pay for that so I'm not gonna make it and hope that somebody does right the next one up is hashtag zero three the giant unicorn pillow 
Now that one finally has a PDF um, file ready and waiting, which means you can purchase the written pattern now. Right, the hashtag four, which is Hearts of Hope keychain, I haven't got to that one yet. I'm doing the bigger ones that I know many, um, quite a few people have attempted and some people have asked um, for the written pattern. So hashtag zero four hearts of hope keychain will be up at some point but not quite yet and that is the same for the spidey pillow but i'm working on that one once i've finished here today um or recording this video i should say right then you've got hashtag zero six which is a crazy cupcake blanket and now there is a pdf available for purchase on that one the hashtag 07 poppy granny square, I haven't done that one yet. Uh, the hashtag 08 crazy quick cheap blanket, I haven't done that one yet. <laughs> um, it's a bit bad, isn't it? All right, hashtag 09 unicorn C to C blanket, that one's available. The hashtag 10 Christmas mystery cow penguin, that has that is available now to purchase and the uh, no paper paper chain hasn't got one and neither has hashtag video 12 or 12a which is the gingerbread gift card holder and my christmas gift to you they i'm go i'm going to put those two together in one pdf download because there is one two three four six six patterns all up off of the ones so because of that i'm going to put them all out as one but don't panic, I've I've got 40, 40 patterns that I'm working on at the moment. They're all corner to corner, all different things. So as it stands at the moment, right, sorry, I'm going to have to hold my tablet here so I can scoot down and read out what they are and tell you a little bit about them. So these are the patterns that will be available at some point once they're written up and once I've got my shop up and going um, but if you're really really desperate send me an email and we can work something out via email right so of course you know that the next one up on the channel is going to be our little moose right then I have got a daisy at the elephant now she's called daisy because she's got a built-in border and the border is daisies that go all the way around and you make that up the same time so it's still a corner to corner with the daisies made in the C to C blocks. We've also got Nala the narwhal. Now, for any of you that don't know what a narwhal is, it is a, basically a dolphin cross between a unicorn. So she has a dolphin body and a unicorn horn that is rainbow. Right, and then we have a love thy owler. She is at this pattern is actually named after the little owl rubber that I um, got for Christmas. Well, the Christmas in July fairies anyway. But um, Love Thy Owler is also another pattern that has a border incorporated into it as you work. Um, I don't want to give that one away too much. I love that one. And it's also out for test at the moment. Now we've got Kit Kat, which is a, a black cat with nice big chunky eyes. We've got cheeky little, uh, cheeky monkey girl and cheeky monkey boy. We have a baby wolf, and the baby wolf is a very simple one ish. It is in just three colours it's a black, white, and grey. So if you're not used to doing CT but you, but you want to do it and you want something that's really nice and simple, that one wouldn't be a bad one to start with. Okay, you will have to do a bit of chopping and changing with where your balls are placed for around the eyes, but I think you'll easily manage that one. Then up next is a seahorse. Now I've got that one in green, shades of green at the moment, but the, so I'm not really liking it. But the colours, of course, can be changed by you. So little seahorse, that one's quite cute. Next up is a Leo the lion. Now this one would look absolutely stunning in a nursery. Um, it's very teddy bear orientated lion. Okay, then we've got a tiger. Now the tiger is just the face, but he's got really big eyes. And I know my teenage daughter, well, my eldest daughter when she was a teenager would have nicked this one. 
nicked it quicker than she'd have nicked that unicorn <laughs> right then we have a pikachu pikachu um let's get out over that because a copyright and all that but we've up next is a koala now i absolutely love this koala i've got ideas on how i want to make the blanket but i cannot find the right yarn yet so that may come to the channel at some point um, and it may be a bit crazier than what you're used to seeing me make now that one also has a built-in border right up next is a, a simple um a dolphin no try again a simple whale and then i've also got a couple of disney orientated ones um one's a bambi and the other one's a eel then we have uh, Simon's Cat, Christmas Yoda, uh, Baby Groot, Deadpool, Captain A, Spider-Man, Thor. Now, that trilogy, that little set, are very pixelated. Um, so they would work really well if you did it in a chunkier yarn um, and looked at it from a distance. But then up next we have got you can with a toucan which is a toucan sitting on a branch then we got frog in the rain now frog in the rain is massive so it's not going to be one that will come to the channel because it's got i think it's 180 odd rows in it um and that is very disney or in disney inspired as well um disney drawing back in the 80s style frog um then i have got a panda and another cat now the second cat is it's got um oh what's it called what's it called what's it called i can't think of the name of the breed give me a minute right so that one is a siamese style cat so it's got nice big eyes um it also has oops, sorry i forgot i had that um also has a little ball and the word baby written down the side but you can take the word baby out replace it with something else if you wished or just not have it there at all then we've got the ice cream cuties i absolutely love these guys um it's an ice cream cone with a couple of dollops of ice cream with big fat eyes and cheeky faces then we have a frog and now it's just the frog head and it's very um a very childlike style drawing um then there's little bird now little bird i'm planning to bring on to the channel at some point because it is a really nice small pattern um and i'm going to incorporate it into something that isn't a blanket <laughs> that's all i'm giving away at the moment then we have got a baby bubble ellie elephant and it is not made with a bubble stitch it's just called bobble because that's the name i decided i liked that day <laughs> now also at some point i will be putting on um some that are called teenager one teenager two um and lovable rogues and now these three patterns are going to be a labor of love especially the lovable rogues it's going to be an absolute labor of love for whoever wants to make it because this these are based off of my daughter's drawings um and i'm just gonna pop them in i think it's going to be easier to show you these three images but as i said they are going to be massive because there is a lot of color changing in them but i tell you what if you did make them for a, if if you made teenager one or teenager two for a teenager i can't see you going wrong really Right, now time for some really good news it's competition time right this time you are going to get the opportunity to choose one of the patterns that i've spoken about in today's episode right um now the reason i'm doing the pattern pdf download is because it is the most safest and quickest way of getting you your prize now the uk post um are not really sending much out of the uk at the moment um, at least they weren't prior to Christmas I haven't had the opportunity to check so rather than having your squishy prize sitting in a box somewhere for I don't know how long it's just better that if I do the PDF download basically so to enter the competition just put in the comments down below 
what pattern you would like to create from what I've shown you it's that simple just which one but just the one all right <laughs> Right, so I'm going to run this competition until 10am on Saturday the 16th. Now that is 10am in the UK. All right, and I will write on this video, competition's closed. So you'll know that your entry rank get counted after that point. And then I will announce the winner on the whips and bits on the 17th of January. So have fun, enjoy and, and make sure you enter below. Right, now for the boring bits. The competition is not affiliated with YouTube. To enter, you guys need to leave a comment down below, be over the age of 18, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And that, that's pretty much it. Um, the winner will be picked using the YouTube random comment picker. Simples. And remember, if you're not keen on the new ones, there are the ones that I spoke about earlier on, which have the videos attached to them. Right, that's pretty much all I've got this week. So I'm going to head off now and I will see you all really, really soon. So please, if you can, stay in and definitely stay safe and ta for now.